Hey everybody. I want to show you real quickly a little insight on how color temperature works. So this piece is still in process and actually if I back off a bit further, you can see that there are, um, there's a lot of pattern here and the pattern happens to flatten any sort of depth of field out. So um, the pattern is really demanding the eye travel across the surface of the piece um, and exploring all those edges. But what I want you to see is the horse herself, how she is a little bit warmer in color than the background and that makes her come forward. So cool colors recede from us and warm colors come forward. And that's sort of the, um, the main thrust or the thing I'm gonna leverage the most in this piece is that I want there to be three different levels of color temperature. So this area here is going to be my warmest warms her, her head and a little bit into her neck. And then this side of her body will be cooler than the head and the neck, but not as cool as that background. And meanwhile, what I'm also doing is putting some glazes on to create some really interesting passages in that background. Um, and I'm also playing a little bit with some color warmth down the right-hand side of the painting. Uh, again, there's, there's lots that remains to be resolved, but I felt like this particular stage of where she's at was a really great place for you to see how certain areas come forward and others recede. And if you actually squint, um, the gold will come, the gold areas will come the closest to you as will those darker shadows um, around her eyes. And they're still pretty cool. Um, there's still a good amount of like violet in here that, that is a bit cooler. So I do need to glaze and pull that forward, but I'm slowly building, slowly building that up. And um, I'm really, really going to leverage that to pop this piece forward. And interestingly enough, too, the painting is the horse was drawn in over top of an old tree spirit piece. So that interplay of the shapes and the sky holes, um, I really love that. You could perhaps imagine, well, here, I can do this. If I tilt it this way. Oh, I think I tilted it the wrong way, this way. Now you can see the tree shape in the painting. Now you can see the horse. So there you have it. Just a little mini lesson on color temperature and you know, I'm slowly building this up. The other thing, um, the other thing that I wanna point out is that it takes longer to take, to make something that was cold warmer um, that it does to start out with a warm temperature to begin with. It's easier to cool a color down than it is to warm it up. So there's gonna be lots of layers of glazes coming in here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of green that went in on her forehead and a nice green gold that has gone down her muzzle, but that actually needs to be um, warmed up quite a bit. It's still a pretty cool um, wash or glaze of color there. Um, but I'm slowly going to warm that up and that's going to pop her head right out of the rest of the noise of the pattern. So I'm going to keep working on her.